All right, so real quick, I'm going to show you a way to take a web page and turn it into a document that can be used on the iPad. And there's a there's a couple advantages, and one is that um, when we convert this document and we send it to an iPad, um, all of this information will be available kind of like a book would. So it's not something that has to be uh, looked up, or it can be accessed when even when the uh, iPad is not hooked up to a uh, to the internet. Um, so you can take some of your information that you use a lot of the time and you can put it in a format that the kids can just have. So it's really kind of creating almost like a digital handout. And so what you would do is you would go to a website that you have um, picked out for, for your information and you would highlight the address and you're going to copy it. So Command C and you're going to copy that over. And then you're going to go to a website like this one. This is um, uh, w or web to PDF converter.com and I'll post the link on the website so you guys can get there but this is just one version of a, of a web um, PDF creator and what you would do is you would paste um, that website and I have to grab it again because I messed up here you would command C this one and you would go over to here to this web PDF and you would command V the new address and then you just hit the button convert to PDF and give it a couple seconds and it's going to create me a document that I can now download. And so now when I download it, it'll actually open it up. And you'll see it'll open it up in preview. And it's basically a, a um, PDF version of the file that we made. So now what you can do is you can actually email that file to your students. When your students um, go into their email, all they have to do is say, open in iBooks and this becomes a permanent part of their iBooks collection so they would always have access to this information wherever they went regardless of their internet connection so it's a good way to create some worksheets and some things for them to use um, some resources for them to use where they don't actually have to have a dedicated internet access point or they don't have to um, go to a long URL or, or anything like that so I hope that helps and I hope it gives you one more thing that you can use in your classroom to um, uh, make technology a bigger part of what you do.